We're getting close to the start of severe weather season here in North America, and that means things like hail, high winds, tornadoes, floods, things like that. So for the next several videos, we're going to be talking about different types of severe weather and what you should do to protect yourself. This week, we start our severe weather series with severe thunderstorms on this edition of Weather 101. Hi there, Aaron here, your friendly neighborhood meteorologist, and I'm back to answer your questions about the weather. Well, as you can see, I'm wearing my short sleeves now, and that means the weather's starting to warm up here in the Northern Hemisphere, and that means we're moving from winter into spring. But the downside is that when spring arrives, so does the different types of severe weather that we get in the United States. And that means things like hail, tornadoes, high winds, things like that. So for the next few videos, I thought I'd talk about different types of severe weather and what you should do to keep yourself safe. Today, we start with severe thunderstorms. First, let's talk a little bit about what exactly makes a thunderstorm severe. There's two specific things that a thunderstorm has to have in order for it to fall into the severe criteria. The first is large hail, and the second, high winds. So let's start with hail. Just because a thunderstorm has hail falling from it, doesn't necessarily mean that it's severe. The hail has to be at least three quarters of an inch or larger before it falls into that severe area. That's roughly the size of a dime or anything larger than that. At those sizes, the hail can cause damage and even physical injury to people who are caught outside in the thunderstorm. Now let's talk about wind. In severe thunderstorms, the winds reach at least 58 miles per hour or anything greater than that. At those speeds, they can knock down things like trees and power lines. In extreme cases, the wind in a thunderstorm can even cause damage similar to a tornado, like structural damage. A misconception a lot of people have about severe thunderstorms is that they contain a lot of lightning. Lightning has absolutely nothing to do with determining the severity of a thunderstorm, but it can still hurt you. If large hail, damaging winds, or even both of these are present in a thunderstorm, the National Weather Service will issue a severe thunderstorm warning for the area affected by that storm. When that happens, you should immediately seek shelter indoors and away from windows until the storm passes. It's also best if you stay off landline telephones and away from plumbing. It's also important to note that severe thunderstorms can produce tornadoes with little or no advanced warning. So you may need to switch to your tornado safety plan without much notice. One important thing to remember when it comes to thunderstorms is regardless if it's severe, you can still be hurt by the lightning from that storm. So remember this rule. If you can hear the thunder, you can be struck by the lightning. So if you're outside doing something like maybe playing basketball or golf or uh, fishing or anything like that, if you hear that thunder, be smart, move indoors and wait for that storm to pass. It shouldn't take very long. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you have a weather related question, just drop them in the comment section down below and I'll try to answer them in another video. If you like this video, just give it a thumbs up or even rate it or share it with your friends. And you can also subscribe to this channel to make sure you stay up to date on the latest videos. I post a new video every Wednesday. You can also keep the learning going by following me on Facebook and Twitter at weather101net. That's where you'll get a new weather word of the week every Monday and a new weather fact every Friday. And that'll do it for this edition of Weather 101. Until next time, see ya!